when you um, see the actual muscles. See, I'm still not in yet. Because think about it, you've got all these tendons that are going into your, the palm of your hand. So each layer of wrapping is going to end in a joint in a, in a, at the end. And it sounds just like jerky when you rip it. Yeah. Now I don't want to eat jerky. <laughs> I still kind of like. I know. <laughs> I love jerky. I can always. I'm, I'm like jerky anytime is fine. Yeah. Any jerky anytime. But you can get rid of this. Like, if you don't want to look at all this fascia, just grab a pair of scissors, and you can just trim it off because it's not going to tear very easy. So you can kind of see how thick that is. It's pretty thick. Okay, so once you get it open, it's easy. But getting it open is the challenge. So hopefully your group is being good, and that's what they're working on. Hey, being good. Wow. This video Way to go. Insane. That was impressive. That I didn't um, hit my skin. Yeah, it's just it's, <laughs> it's pretty good that I just just make the skin there. What? You got it? No, you can. Okay. I just. I don't think I have the angle. I do it to study. That's why. All right. So you ready? So this pretty muscle in the center, this, it's a really big muscle, it's called palmaris longus, so I always find it first, okay, so this guy here, this big guy, and you can loosen it up, and what's really cool is that it's palmaris longus, so it's what uh, flexes in the paw, and if you tug it, you can actually make the cat's paw move. So it's kind of neat. So that's your palmaris longus. So that's the center muscle. And it's always kind of got a little bit of a sheen to it from the layers and layers of fascia. Okay, so palmaris longus. Now, the next thing you're going to have to do is figure out, okay, where's my thumb? So if they're not declawed, you'll feel the, this one is declawed. But if they're not declawed, you'll feel their claw. So the thumb is going to be um, towards the head. So the thumb is always on the side towards the head. So when I'm holding my hands up medially, medially, and in anatomical position, we put thumbs out. Well, their thumbs are going to be in, okay, because we're not turning their palms over. Does that make sense? Okay, so thumbs are in. So that means radius is on this side, because remember what I taught you. It's RT, radius to thumb, and it's ulna to pinky, right up. So RT, UP, right up. So here's my thumb. That means that this muscle on this side, and it's right here, this muscle, is flexor carpi radialis. Okay, so find your center one, palmaris longus. Then you find the thumb, and this is going to be flexor carpi radialis, which means that this guy on this side is ulnaris, flexor carpi ulnaris. So you, that's why we find palmaris first, is because it's flanked by the flexors. So palmaris longus, flexor carpi radialis, flexor carpi ulnaris, side by side, okay? And then pronator teres is this little guy right here. Um, I've got my probe under it. See, it's this kind of chunky one. And to me, it looks like a boomerang. See how it has kind of a curve in it? That curve right there? I think of the Nike symbol or I think of a boomerang. So pronator teres is the one that looks like a chunk. It goes into the elbow. Then you've got your radialis. Then you've got your palmaris. Then you've got your ulnaris. And there's something that you can do with this. Because if you say it P-R-P-U, you could think of some things. Because, you know, P-U. Just think of something gross to be P-R. And I've had, you know, some obvious things come up today. Yeah, there's a lot of places you could go. So P-R-P-U. So that's your upper arm. Now, lower arm is a piece of cake. I'm sorry, upper arm is a piece of cake. Right here, this is the cat-only muscle. This is epitrochlearis. So the whole bottom surface, which would just be our triceps. Okay, so you know where our triceps are. Underneath this muscle is the tricep. And see, it's very thin. See how thin that is? So the epitrochlearis is a cat only. But what we want to do is we want to get inside here. So you're going to see where the pecto brachialis and the pecs run. You want to pull that open, like right there. And what's inside is your bicep. So see this muscle right here is your bicep. And this is brachialis. Brachialis is on, actually on list seven. I really should have put it on list um, six, but whatever. This is brachialis that I'm tapping. Tap, 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 tap. Okay? So is it just underneath it's the It's under it. Yeah, so brachialis. See how there's a division oh, there? I see that. 
Do you see okay. it? Yeah, the top one. Yeah. The bottom one's right here. Right. Okay. And so right here is biceps brachii. And when it's on this side, you can see it really good. When we, when we go inside here, you'll see that this is the bicep. I mean, the, the brachialis. So biceps brachii, epitrochlearis. And then Kuroko is the fun one. Okay, to get to Kuroko, you're actually going to have to cut your pecs. That's why I said only do this on one side. I don't want you to cut your pecs on both sides. Not that it really matters now, um, but um, it's just something I always say. And you're going to get in here, and you've got to go all the way back to the armpit. All the way back to the armpit, and open it up. And there's this itty-bitty, tiny muscle right at the back of the bicep, right here. See if I can get under it. Uh, that's the one that looks like the style of hybrid, right? It's yeah, it's just tiny. tiny. Yeah, it's this little strap, and it's like right there. I got it. Yeah, kind of get in, kind of get in there. See where the probe is? The probe is under Kuroko brachialis. So it's this itty bitty muscle. If I have a probe in the armpit, it's Kuroko brachialis. It's Kuroko brachialis. So if I have a in the armpit. And it's right, like, here in our arm. Oh, there's a child. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. It's, like, right in the armpit. You couldn't do your, like, you know, when you do the little things? You couldn't do that without the Kuroko brachialis. Okay? I'm sorry, Daniel. That was for saying that you didn't miss me. Okay. Karma actually got me because I was about to do something. Me? Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> so, epitrochlearis, biceps brachii, brachialis, and then Kuroko brachialis is where my probe is at. Okay, so it's easy, and everybody got done early last hour. The hard part is getting through that dang fashion. Yeah. So have fun with that. Thank you, Earl. Sure. Nice, we're done.